Feeling torn about diving into Shopify Plus? You've probably caught wind that it's the secret weapon for scaling brands. From scrappy startups to global giants, stick with us and we'll demystify Shopify Plus, giving you the lowdown on everything from B2B and wholesale magic, checkout customization, international growth, and a sneak peek at the latest and greatest features. If you're ready to get started, we've included a tutorial to walk you through the setup. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand if Shopify Plus is the match for your store, but also feel confident in making the leap or sticking with something simpler. So buckle up. First off, what exactly is Shopify Plus? Simply put, it's Shopify's big kid on the playground. The place where high growth, high volume brands congregate to handle online sales, brand expansions, global reach, and B2B wizardry. Regular Shopify is great for your cousin's handmade soap shop, but when you're pushing thousands of orders daily or planning to conquer multiple continents, Shopify Plus delivers the muscle, advanced features, and VIP support you need. Let's talk about the B2B and wholesale features first, because that's a big draw for a lot of people. Shopify Plus makes it straightforward. One of the standout advantages is custom pricing. Instead of hacking together discount codes or messy workarounds, you can set personalized price lists for different customers or groups. That means, for instance, if you have a VIP client who wants special rates, you can assign them a tier and never again worry about accidentally charging them full price. The platform is built for these scenarios, so you don't have to do mental backflips every time you want to onboard a new wholesale partner. Another perk of Shopify Plus for B2B is the ability to create wholesale storefronts. Picture it like a members-only club. You can have a separate portal where your wholesale clients log in and see their own curated experience, unique products, special bulk pricing, the works, while your regular D2C store remains unaffected. The separation means you won't be mixing up your Aunt Susan who buys one candle at a time with the store owner who wants to stock 300 candles for the holiday season. And if your B2B customers need net payment terms like net 30 or net 60, you can handle that gracefully. Instead of sending them complicated invoices, Shopify Plus automates a lot of the process, freeing you up to focus on more strategic decisions rather than playing accountant. Bulk ordering is also refreshingly painless. Whether a business wants 500 units of a single item or a mix and match scenario, the system streamlines the entire cart process. You can even set up minimum order quantities or other parameters that are typical in a wholesale environment. If you're craving a mental picture of how this B2B functionality works in practice, imagine logging into a specialized portal tailored to your wholesale account. You see your pre-negotiated prices, you can reorder your usual items with a couple of clicks, and your credit terms are already set, so you don't have to fish out a credit card. Once you place your order, your vendor gets an automated alert that triggers the warehouse to prep the shipment. No phone calls, no emails, no chaos. It's all built in. That's the essence of Shopify Plus for B2B. Now, let's pivot to headless commerce. It might sound like some bizarre medieval punishment, but in reality, it's just about decoupling your store's front end, what customers see, from the back end, the engine that processes orders and manages products. Shopify Plus does a brilliant job of supporting this approach. Let's say you want a completely custom front end experience that's built in React, Vue, or some other framework du jour. With Shopify's robust API layer, you can plug all your custom code into Shopify's underlying structure. This means you still benefit from Shopify's security, payment processing, and inventory management. But you can design your storefront any way you please. And if you don't want to build from scratch, Shopify Plus even has a React-based starter kit that can get you up and running quickly. It's designed for developers, sure, but it means you're not forced to reinvent the wheel. Headless commerce is especially appealing if brand experience is paramount for you. Want to integrate your store into a mobile app? Maybe you want mesmerizing animations or a unique product exploration feature that just isn't easy to build on a standard Shopify theme. If you've got the skill set or a partner like IWD, Shopify's headless capabilities can help you make that happen. The possibilities of what you can do are endless, and these are the solutions our team absolutely loves to implement. Let's move on to one of Shopify Plus's crown jewels, the Shopify Checkout, famous in e-commerce circles for its high conversion rates. It's the same engine that processes a sizable chunk of US online transactions, so it's been battle-tested. Speed is a huge factor. Shopify says it's around four times faster than typical checkouts. In an era where people will abandon a site if it takes more than a few seconds to load, shaving down milliseconds can make a colossal difference in your revenue. ShopPay is another major element of the checkout experience. You've probably used it yourself while shopping on other stores, whether you realized it or not. It stores customer information securely and enables a one-click or one-tap purchase, which is basically the holy grail of online retail. 
According to Shopify, ShopPay can boost mobile conversion by as much as 91%. That's not a minor improvement, that's a game changer. And since more than 100 million customers already have a ShopPay account, you're getting a pre-existing user base that can breeze through your checkout without having to enter their card details all over again. Anything that removes friction at checkout is generally a boon for your bottom line. Beyond that, Shopify Plus allows you to customize the checkout in ways that regular Shopify users can't. You can add upsells, tweak the layout, or incorporate loyalty programs directly into the final purchase steps. If you want to build your own checkout app for some specialized purpose, like a custom donation feature or a unique shipping method integration, Shopify Plus gives you that capability. It's all about reducing cart abandonment and creating a smooth, branded experience from product selection to payment confirmation. Let's talk about integration features, because if you're at the stage where Shopify Plus even crosses your radar, you probably have multiple systems in place. You want them to communicate with each other without your employees having to do manual data entry, which inevitably leads to errors and headaches. Shopify Plus offers robust APIs and SDKs, so you can tie everything together. If your marketing team wants real-time access to sales data in your CRM, you can set that up. If your finance department insists on seeing every invoice in your ERP, you can do that too. And if you don't have the in-house resources, Shopify Plus partners, like us, are available to handle those integrations for you, freeing you up to focus on scaling your brand rather than messing with code. E-commerce automation is another area where Shopify Plus shines. Picture all the small tasks that eat up your time, whether it's tagging VIP customers, organizing pre-orders, or sending stock alerts. Instead of hiring an army of administrative assistants, you can set up workflows in Shopify Flow. For instance, you could create a rule that says, whenever someone places an order over $1,000, automatically tag them as a potential wholesale lead and shoot a Slack message to our sales team. Or, if inventory falls below 20 units, send an email to our supplier. These kinds of automated triggers might seem small in isolation, but together they can save you enormous amounts of time, not to mention mitigate potential errors. Think of it as a personal assistant that works 24-7, never calls in sick, and doesn't require a benefits package. International commerce deserves special attention too. If you aspire to be a global brand, you need to handle multiple currencies, languages, shipping setups, and regional tax requirements. Shopify Plus provides a framework for localizing your store, letting you sell in different countries while maintaining consistency on the back end. You can create dedicated storefronts for each market. So someone in Germany sees your site in German with prices in euros, while someone in Canada sees everything in Canadian dollars and English or French if you're feeling fancy. The platform also integrates with various global payment gateways, so you're not stuck forcing everyone to pay in USD or some other single currency. This can substantially reduce friction when customers in other parts of the world want to buy from you. Handling campaigns and flash sales is another area where Shopify Plus stands out. Let's say you're about to run a massive Black Friday sale or you wanna create a one-day promotional event for a new product. You need your site to handle a sudden surge in traffic and orders, which might be several times your normal volume. Shopify Plus infrastructure can handle that load without flinching. You can also automate the entire campaign, turn the sale on at midnight, activate certain discount codes, maybe push a special landing page live, and then have it automatically revert to normal pricing the next day. This way, you won't have to wake up at an ungodly hour just to flick the switch. And if you're the type who loves analyzing data, you can measure every aspect of the campaign's performance, from how many people used a particular code to how well your site converted under the extra load. Point of Sale POS features round out Shopify's ecosystem, and these carry over into Shopify Plus. If you have a physical store, pop-up shop, or you just like the idea of selling in person at events, you can use Shopify's POS to accept payments and manage inventory. Everything syncs to your main Shopify dashboard, meaning if you sell an item in your brick and mortar location, the inventory is updated automatically for your online store. No more accidentally selling out online while you've already sold the last piece in person. It's a unified approach that can be a lifesaver if you're juggling multiple sales channels. You can also track which stores are performing best, how your in-person sales compare to online, and how customers move between the two. Finally, let's talk about pricing and support, because that's usually where people start biting their nails. Shopify Plus starts at around $2,300 per month. Yes, that's a significant monthly outlay, but if you're already generating the kind of revenue that needs an enterprise-level solution, the platform can often pay for itself in time saved, fewer complications, and higher conversions. And with that price comes some important perks. You get a dedicated account manager, a real human who can guide you through best practices and help you navigate any issues. 
Shopify's 24-7 support also levels up when you're on Plus. You're not just another user in a massive queue. You're a high-priority client. Then there are launch engineers who help you migrate your site if you're switching from another platform. They'll also help you set up any custom configurations you might need. Migrating a store can be stressful, especially if you have a lot of data, but having experts walk you through it can make a night and day difference. Now that we've covered the essentials, let's walk through setting up some of these features in the Shopify admin. We'll start by adding a company, which is the backbone of many B2B functionalities in Shopify. First, navigate to the customer section and click companies. There's already a sample company called Snow Devil, but let's add a new one. Click Add Company in the top right corner. Enter the company name, for example, IWD Agency. Then choose the main contact. Let's select John Doe. You can also add the company's address, set payment terms like Net30, and configure their checkout options, such as limiting them to shipping to one address at a time. You can also enter a tax ID and decide if the company is tax exempt or subject to taxes. Once the company's added, you can start customizing it further. You'll be able to create orders, add locations, and assign staff members like sales reps. You can also manage customer-specific catalogs from here and edit payment terms and checkout settings from here, as well as add any notes related to the company. Now let's assign this company to a specific catalog. Head over to Products, then Catalogs. We already have two sample catalogs, but we're going to create a new one for this customer. You can choose to include all products or just specific ones. For this demo, Let's say we're creating a catalog for IWD agency. This is where you can apply price adjustments. So let's say we want to add a 10% discount for this customer. You can also configure if new products should automatically be added to this catalog and specify locations if the company has multiple branches. Once done, set the catalog status to active and select the currency. Now that you have your custom catalog set up, you can begin adding products here, just as you would with a regular catalog. Now let's take a look at products and pricing. You've got another great feature here where you can easily import your catalog with a CSV file. So you can export it, get the formatting just right, and then upload it back into the system if needed. This makes things so much easier, especially if you have a large catalog, whether that's thousands of SKUs or even millions. Instead of adding products one by one, you can quickly populate everything using your CSV file. And it's extra useful if you're pulling data from another system like an ERP. It really saves a lot of time and effort. Next, let's talk about pricing rules. You can adjust minimum or maximum quantities a customer must order. You can set your increments here. Let's say a minimum of 10 units and a maximum of 1,000. You can also set up volume pricing. This lets you set price breaks based on the quantity ordered. For example, after 10 units, you might lower the price a bit and then offer a bigger discount after 50 units. You can easily set all of that up right here, making it simple to offer bulk pricing for your customers. Now that we've set up a catalog and pricing, we'll assign sales reps. Head to settings, then users, and add a new user. Enter their email, let's call them salesrep at iwdagency.com. After that, we'll assign them a role, so we'll go ahead and select the sales rep role. You can also customize permissions if needed. But since we've chosen sales rep, the permissions are already set up for us. From here, we can manage how they log in and control which stores they have access to within the company settings. Once everything's ready, you can send them an invite and they'll get an email to activate their account. Lastly, let's walk through creating a purchase order. First, under products, click on purchase orders. Then let's create a new one. Here, you can select a supplier if needed. Next, we'll set the payment terms, let's say net 45. You can change the currency here, but we'll keep it in US dollars. You can also set the estimated arrival date, and for shipping, we'll choose UPS from the dropdown. You can also add a tracking number if you have one. Next, select the products you want to include in the PO. I'll just pick a few as an example, and click Add. For the reference number, you might have one for the merchant, but we'll just put in 10. You can also add a note to the supplier, like thank you. Now, let's set the total cost for these four snowboards, let's say $750. Once you're done, you can save the purchase order as a draft. And there you have it. The PO is now created, and you can send it to your customer for approval, payment, or whatever's needed next. That's the last thing I wanted to show you in the admin panel.
So, is Shopify Plus right for everyone? Not necessarily. If you're running a small storefront as a side hustle, you might not need all the bells and whistles. The advanced features will likely be overkill, and the monthly cost may not make sense unless you're consistently pushing serious sales volume. But if you're at the point where your next big sale could bring in thousands of orders in a single day, or you're dealing with multiple wholesale accounts, or you're scaling into multiple global regions, Shopify Plus is designed to shoulder that weight. It's kind of like choosing between a compact car and a fully loaded SUV. If you're just driving to the grocery store once a week, the SUV might be too much. But if you regularly haul big loads or travel across rough terrain, you'll be glad you opted for the more powerful vehicle. It's also worth mentioning that you can start on a regular Shopify plan and then upgrade when you reach that tipping point. Some brands do this because it makes sense financially and operationally. They get a feel for Shopify's ecosystem, see how they like the admin interface, possibly build up some automation or integrate some apps, and then when the business justifies it, they move to Plus. It's a pretty seamless transition, especially since you're already in the Shopify family. Another angle to consider is the value of the Shopify Plus partner network. These are agencies and developers who have been vetted by Shopify for their expertise in custom implementations, migrations, and ongoing support. If your business has complex needs, like integrating a legacy ERP system or building a custom app to manage subscription boxes, a Plus Partner can often handle that more efficiently than you'd be able to alone. And while hiring an agency might seem like an added expense, sometimes it ends up saving you money long term because you're not spending resources on trial and error or patchwork solutions. And let's not forget the intangible benefits, like peace of mind. When you're running a growing e-commerce brand, the last thing you want is to be jolted out of sleep at 2 a.m. because your site went down during a flash sale. Shopify's infrastructure is built to handle spikes in traffic, and their servers don't typically flake out just because thousands of people clicked add to cart all at once. You also benefit from ongoing platform improvements. Shopify is constantly updating features. By being on the platform, especially the plus tier, you're front and center for all those updates without having to manage your own hosting or wrestle with huge manual upgrades. In sum, Shopify Plus isn't just a premium version of Shopify. It's built for businesses that have outgrown standard features. Yes, it costs more and has a learning curve, but the ROI can be huge for the right businesses. If you're ready to scale, simplify wholesale, or boost conversions, Shopify Plus could be your best bet. Still unsure? Reach out to our team at IWD Agency and we'll help you determine if Shopify Plus or another platform is the right fit. We don't just build stores, we create high-performing e-commerce experiences. Let's build yours today.